In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to lower your file sizes without losing any quality at all using DaVinci Resolve. Let's go. Okay, let's get started. So I am in DaVinci Resolve 17. Um, just a quick note, this will work for uh, DaVinci Resolve 16 and 17. So what I'm aiming to do is export this um, file, which is already edited, for example, and we need a lower file size. So we're going to head over from cut to deliver. On the left hand side, you're going to see my file name, location, and then render. Okay, so it's video export video. And we got format is okay. We can do either MP4 or QuickTime. I'm okay with uh, QuickTime. So codec, we're not going to touch that but we are going to see resolution. So resolution, a uh, rule of thumb is when it's at 720p, um, it's definitely a lower, it's lower quality, meaning lower file size anyways. But the standard across the board is going to be a 1080p HD. So I'm going to leave it as 1080p HD, okay? And frame rate, we're good with that, but here's where quality is. So, and if you wanted to click to 720 by all means do so um, it is a lower quality but also it minimizes your file size that's one way but quality what we can do here is if you click automatically we can see least low medium high or best now normally uh, for YouTube videos we would want the best of course but if you didn't want that and it's obviously the, the problem is it's going to be a big file size. We can click the least and this is actually fine. Like least is okay. It's not a dramatic dip in quality at all. It's actually not too bad. So what we're gonna do is click least. Now, a second option is you can actually control the file size limits. So let's do some math. We know that 1000 kilobytes equals one megabyte. So I have 58 seconds, around 58 seconds in this video. Let's just put it back here, about 58 seconds. Now that's going to be, if I put 58 second, uh, 58,000, which I actually did, it's going to be around one megabyte per second, okay? And you can control this. You can put 90,000 if you wanted to, Etc. What I would do is calculate how many megabytes per second are you willing to give or to restrict to. Anyhow, what I would do is just go to quality, click automatically and click least or even low. So we're going to click least and after we've gone through every single setting and are happy about rendering, we're going to click render right but before we do that we're going to see the render uh, tab here make sure it's on the entire timeline and not in and out range and in that range you would get maybe a chop uh, maybe the first clip or so but the entire timeline it would render the whole thing okay so make sure that's there so we're going to add to render queue and to the right we have our file here okay and then we're going to render all. And what it's gonna do is render the whole file. Okay, so it has rendered the whole file and now it's saved to my desktop uh, to the destination that I put here. So I found the file and it's come out to nine megabytes and 63. That's quite low, okay? And this is just an example of a 53 second video um, 1080p HD and it's on the, the least quality setting and it's come out as 9.63 megabytes. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and let me know in the comments below if this has helped you at all. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it and uh, until next time, peace.